a professional direct response copywriter. And one of the things that, yeah, I mean, what you taught me years ago, Ari, uh, at a conference was a one call sale. And I've been implementing that ever since. And it saved me countless amounts of, um, of time and actually uh, improved the conversion rate as well. What, what I'm finding recently, just over the couple, last couple of weeks, because my closing is usually um, pretty good, but I'm getting some people, I think maybe because it's, I don't know if it's economic or maybe they're, I haven't qualified them properly or whatever, but they're like, I love this, you know, but I've got a cash flow issue. Um, and I'm sort of like, I'll, I'll say at the end, where should we go from here? They're like, I love it. I've got a cash flow issue. And then it's like, I'll book in a time for next month or next quarter, but I'm not getting that one call, one call sale. So I'm like, oh, what am I, what's the, the gap am I missing? Is it the front of the sale or is it something I'm not grasping at the end of the it's sale? Po it's process. possible what you're missing here is the ROI or the loss related to the problem they have right now. Mm. What I mean by that is you have to essentially help them understand what the impact is to their business if they don't solve the problem they're coming to you with. Mm. Yep. See, most copywriters try and sell the future. They say, oh my God, if we can get this out to the market, you can grow your business 10X, and you'll make so much money, it's fantastic. And they're like, well, I don't have any money now to do that. See, so so I'm not sure you're doing this, but stay away from the future and focus on what's the, if you don't solve this problem, John, how much will you lose every month in your business if you don't solve it? Yes. See, people don't focus on the losses. They only focus on what they're making. You have to build a business case based upon the losses that justifies your fee to solve the problem. Yes. Yep. And people do more to avoid a, uh, a pain than get a gain. Correct. So you're the doctor. They're the patient. Yep. You have an x-ray machine and you're showing them the totality of their problem that they can't see themselves. Give them clarity on the impact of their issues and whether they want to solve it or not before you even talk about your solution. So really, it should be something like, you know, tell me about your problem you're trying to solve. Yeah. How long, that, how long has that been a problem for? Wow. Yeah. What have you tried so far to, to work on that fix yourself? Okay. Have you calculated how much opportunity or money you're losing every month by not solving this? Mm, yeah, which I, I do do that to a degree like the, but I, I probably don't dive into it as deeply as I, as I should. So that's a really good uh, distinction and yeah, exacerbate that pain point. Yeah, but it's not, it's not the exasperation. It's not, you're not adding salt in the wound. What you're doing is having them own the truth of their situation. Hmm. And you're going yeah. to ask them this question. You're going to say, is this a priority for you to address and resolve once and for all and plug up this hole to stop losing money? Is it a priority for you? If the guy says no, then say, have a nice day. Hmm. If the guy says, yep. yeah, I want to, but I don't have a lot of money right now. I say, no problem. Let's work out a way to work together. Be flexible. I'll, I'll work with, I'm open-minded. You give me what you think would be best for you. Work something out. And that's how you work it out. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, no, absolutely. Great, Scott. Uh, you're, uh, great to see you again and glad you came on the show today. Yeah, thanks, Harry. Appreciate it.